Okay, welcome. This this is just a short recording I'm doing just to show you how you can reduce the size of your um uh, sort of ESP32 projects, because especially when you're trying to build something which has quite a lot of data in it, uh, that data can take up quite a lot of space on the um, on the microcontroller. And so, so what I've done is this is just the same project as what I um, was doing last time. And what I've done is um, I've, I've just added a little bit to it where um, what I've done is, is just extended the page just a little bit. So, so this is that the, the code that I'm using. And you can see what, what the C code is the same. But what I've done is I've just edited the web page again uh, so that it has the... Yeah, it's got a little bit of extra JavaScript here. Um, and what I've done, this is just to display the camera. So now if I go back to the page, and of course because it's so huge, it's going to take a little bit of time to load. And I mean, it's not even that big, it could just be the... Anyway, well anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. Alright, so here's the page. So as you can see, it's, it's the same as it was before, but it now has the camera image. And basically, that... Um, yeah, see, so, so this is basically the, yeah, and what's happening here as well is that the, some of the, some of the frames are going missing because it's a bit slow in, um, updating. Right, so, so basically that's still what, so I've added that on, which is what was on the original page. And you can also see that it still does the same thing as before, where you've got, the text, but I've actually edited the CSS so that now the writing doesn't overlap like it did before. So now the buttons actually go down, as you notice. And also the toggle LED still works. So that's it on. You can see it's all bright here. And this it goes off again. So it's back on again. It does have some sort of water exposure as well, you can see. It's off. All right, so, so that's enough of that. So, um, all right, I'm just doing that just to save it, holding that image. So now, what, what I'm going to be, the main, what I'm trying to show in this particular recording is that there's a command you can run when you're in the ESP IDF, which is to check the size of the um, image. Of, of the, like the firmware image. And the command is actually make, um, is yeah, make size components. And so if I run that, right, so what that does is that gives us a list of the size of the different components in the firmware, in the firmware. And so as you can see, the biggest one at the top is the lib main, because that contains the the web page, and then the other, um, these are all the other libraries that are linked in. And so you can see the total size here. So I'm just going to make a note of that. So you can see that is one point, sorry, one, two, four, nine, four, four, two bytes. So that's about 1.2 megabytes. So if you make a note of that. And so what I'm going to do now is, this is one of the good things about using the ESP IDF, and that is that you it actually, when you run the make menu config, it actually gives you some options. You can choose to actually reduce the size of the, uh, of, of the image. So what I'm going to do is, so first things first that you should do is just make a backup copy of the SDK config. Because that holds your configuration. Alright, so that's the debug one. So now, uh, because we're going to rebuild this, it's, it's better. What you also have to do is delete the build directory. So you get rid of that. So now you do, you type make menu config. 
Right, and so now the main thing you're after to reducing size is, of course, these compiler options. So if you come here, and then see optimization, optimization levels debug at the moment. So if we change that to release, in assertion level, we just, um, yeah, we just disable it. Because this is like we're going to do like the final version of the firmware, which we want to run as quick as possible and to be as small, you know, as small as we, we can get it. So you exit that, exit, and then save. All right, so let's finish the configuration. So we just, um, now we're ready to, to flash it. Oh, so sorry, to build and then flash it. So now this is going to go through and just run a build. And you see the, this, the good thing about this, uh, the way they build works is that it actually uses, um, some compiler commands, which actually strips out the unused code. So it will actually go through and compile all of the different components, which, yeah, it does make it take a while. But there is a way to speed this up by removing the components that you don't use. Um, but that's more for that like, when you're use, basically doing this on a, like a professional level, then it really makes a difference if you can get full builds to be a lot quicker, um, by stripping the components out. But leaving the components in doesn't actually affect the final size of the binary because of the fact that the functions, uh, there's a function sections flag to the compiler, which splits out all the functions and then the, the linker, yes, and so then the linker has a GC dash sections uh, command. And yes, yeah, so you can already see that the, um, it's actually small already. So the original size is one, two, four, nine, and now we're down to one, one, five, one. So yeah, we saved just under a hundred K. Okay. So that's in. So now if we check the, um, check the size again, so we check the size of the components. All right. So that gives us now. Yes, it's gone down a bit, so let's see flash code. Yes, it's gone down. So not much. So basically we yeah, we saved a little bit of space, so it's down from one two four nine to one one five one. Now you might think that's it, but no, there's actually more we can get out. So the one more thing we can do is to strip out all of the messages, which of course means that the debug output actually ends up uh, being empty. So if we go in there, so the way we find that is if you go to, uh, it says component config, and then what we want is the log. So, so basically the log, um, so you've got his info. So if you just turn it to no output, so that gets rid of all logging, uh, which is in the, the different modules. And there isn't, um, I don't think there's anything else that you can change which will make much of a difference. So if we exit that, so if we build that again, and so what it does is it won't build as many things as before, but what it's building is all the ones which, uh, had any debug information in them. So because it's been removed, it now has to rebuild them to to basically strip out all the messages and so what we're going to find out is how much space these messages actually take up okay so it's just linking it so let's see oh, one one two one so it doesn't make that much actually when i i think it's to do with the components that are built in but when i did it on a on like the um On like a very simple one, it actually it actually does make more of a difference. Okay, well, I mean, it didn't make as much difference as I thought it might. Uh, but I suppose it's because of the project that I've because I've been using quite a, there's quite a lot of code in there. 
But what you'll find is if you do like a smaller project, um, because because actually you've got an I've got an example. Let me see. Um, yeah, because actually I, I did do. Um, let me see if I can quickly show you. Okay, so this is a blink. So let me just. All right, so this. Let's see if you can see how bad it can get. So basically. This blink, so all it is, all it does is just, it's a GPO, just toggles a GPO and that's it. So you think for such a small amount of code that it shouldn't have to be that big. So, so if we build down, I'm, I'm not going to flash it, I just, just want to show you the difference in size. Alright, so if we check the size of this one, this is just a few lines of code. And so for a few lines of code, it takes up, um, it takes up 230 kilobytes of flash. If you'd be thinking, well, you know, why does it have to take up that much just for a, a blink? But then, if you actually strip out, so so I think this this does make a bit of a difference for like small. Um, so we go to menu config and so now we just make it release. Let me say all that. All right, so now it's going through again, just stripping everything out. I was going to say the other good thing about this make um, components, it actually tells you which components are used. So you actually know which ones you can remove and your project should still build. So if you ever want to speed up the build time by skipping some of the components, you just look at the, um, just look at that um, sort of output. Yes, so when you look at this, I think the way it works is that these ones here, even though zero, I think if you remove these components, it won't build. But essentially, any component which does not show in this list, you can remove it, and it will actually uh, speed up your build. So anyway, let's see what the result is now. All right, so there you see, it's, it's actually more impressive when when you use less components. So I think the more components that you use uh, that get built in, it is harder to shrink the size of the file down. So, but but because this is such a small one, as you can see, the size see the previous size is two hundred thirty k, and then and then now we're down to one hundred six k. So obviously, for a little blink, you you know you you be glad to have sort of that kind of a savings and so now I just want to see if this um, if, if the new one that I flash with the optimize makes any difference to the um, to the speed that this runs at because that would be interesting well it still takes a while to load the web page so Looks like it hasn't affected the speed that much. Maybe that was a little bit faster. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's pretty much the same speed. Um, I mean, there's, there's probably other ways to... I don't know. There's, there's probably various reasons why it's so slow. I suppose what I could do is... um. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but um, let me just, just not like how slow it is this way. Alright, so I just made a change, so I don't think it'll make any difference to how fast it is, but um, yeah, I suppose there's other things it could probably do to get it to upload quicker, 
but um, yeah, and probably different ways you can try and optimize the the way the code is as well. All right, so that's smaller now. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's a bit better. And of course we can, so the usual still works, so you just toggle the LED, so that's on, and off, it's on. So the usual text thing. Just sort of toggle the LED. And just to show you that it is still the same old thing as before. Okay, I just ran out of space again. So, and I think also nudge the uh, USB, uh, the sort of USB serial adapter. So I'm just going to try again. Actually, that loaded really quick for some reason. Um, so. Basically, the, yeah, so there it is again. And that's your webcam. And that's really bright. It's, it's not as bad for, I like to see. I do like how quick it responds though. Okay, I don't know how many takes it's going to take to do this, but I'll get this one out of the way quick. So that's the, yes, yeah, the camera's still working. And I'm just going to quickly say that that's, um, yes, that's the setup, and then you can see that the LED toggles really quick, which I like. And and just the usual text is still there with the adjustment that I made. Okay, so if you made it this far then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in any uh, other videos I can try and do about this ESP32.